don't kick people when they're down. Um, okay. I, I, somebody mentioned I did it with Peter and his gay man in his room. Um, the first thing I want to say is it's how he handled it. It's not kicking him when he's down. I mean, he's trying to have the guy jailed for it, whatever. Um, I'll give you an example of something that happened to somebody in Abu Dhabi. Not me, but somebody I know, because uh, the guy involved had another funny scenario. He, well, the first scenario was he got to the border, handed over his passport <laughs> to to have the guards um, at the border have a look at it, and the guy was just like and handed him back. And when he opened it, the kids had written all over his passport in crayon. Um, that's one of the things that happened to him. Another one was he's at this hotel in Abu Dhabi. It's three o'clock in the morning. There's a knock at the door, and what it was is some some of his university uh, mates had set him up with somebody online uh, from the gay community. So this guy had driven to meet this guy in the hotel room. So this guy, you know, you imagine you're just like in your bed, you just woke up, the door's been, and it's like I've driven miles to get here. What's all it? See, that is a much funnier situation, is being able to laugh it off that this situation had happened to this guy. And we're sat talking about it because we're talking about the crayon and the other bits and pieces that have happened to him over the years. He did not get all aggressive that there was a gay guy at his door. He did not get all aggressive the guy was complaining and wanted some money because he travelled so far and he, he wanted at least <laughs> to meet the guy on the other side, you know, because... <laughs> it was just a very funny story. Obviously, not if you're the guy that actually travelled that mar that far. But the what had happened is his university mates had heard he would be at that hotel because they said, "Oh, well, we, we might be uh, in the area." So, what, what's your what's your room number? And obviously, they gave that, and that was enough for them to play a prank on him. Now, somebody else has had a bit of bad news with a breakup recently. Now, what I want to say on this is, it's very simple. People who put stuff on YouTube are not there to be criticised and have their lives destroyed. It's not for that. If you want to do that, watch Jeremy Kyle. Um, or what's that other show you have in America? You have something similar to that, I think. Uh, Jerry Springer, that sort of rubbish. Um, because when things go wrong, it is something that affects people quite drastically so if somebody breaks up their channels based on their life in the Philippines and everything else and they've had a breakup they don't need a kick in the teeth they're already in a lot of pain and whatever and dealing with the separation and the thing with being alone in the Philippines is it can have some adverse effects because you haven't got that social network that you normally have from where you've come from so my personal view is if you've got nothing nice to say, just don't say anything at all. Can't say any further than that. It's not the guy hasn't been vindictive or anything like that. He's not he's not doing a um spouting evil type thing. He's a nice nice guy. Because his relationships failed, what well, gives you the right to give him a load of abuse? Um that's just it's just wrong. And I say it quite strongly because the guy doesn't deserve it, you know. Like I said with Peter, I wasn't even actually um, complaining too much about Peter. I just found it very funny what happened to Peter. But also, like I was saying with the university thing, it's quite funny. The reason it's funny with Peter is he turned around and made up his own version, which was completely different from the news reports, um, which is a bit like um, being, being told one thing and then you, the news media is going on in the background and you're sitting there watching watching it is the person in front of you is actually lying straight in front of you while the real story is going on behind them uh, that's that's the sort of stuff with Peter but when somebody actually has something go wrong in their relationship they don't need beating down um, even when people are horrible I generally I'm not too bothered um, about looking for any destruction in their lives I'd much, I'd much rather everybody was happy and content and Although we can't have the uh, My Little Pony rainbowy typed environment, although I dread it if we ever did, um, it'd be nice for everybody to be content and happy. I can't see what's why people feel the need to 
hope that something badly goes wrong for somebody. Um, I just don't. I, th I just think that's that's just wrong. All right. Thanks for watching.